It's late May and we're gonna be heading up to Sky High Lodge, which is located on Hyheam Lake. Hyheam Lake is about a four hour drive northeast of Vancouver and about an hour and a half from Kamloops. Joining me on this trip is gonna be my son, Braden. He's shown a keen interest for fly fishing and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing here up at Hyheam. Hyheam Lake is known for having large, wild Kamloops rainbow trout. And those are the fish that we're gonna be targeting a variety of different ways. We're gonna be doing a little bit of trolling, we're gonna be doing some casting and stripping, and we're also gonna be fishing with strike indicators and chronomids. So I'm super excited to get out on the water with Braden and find out exactly what Hyheam has to offer. The drive into the lake is quite the experience. It, it's an awesome adventure. As you're making the drive to the lake, you actually climb a, a steep mountain with some fabulous views of the valley below, and, and you actually drive right through uh, the remnants of the Elephant Hill fire, which took place in 2017. And as you climb the mountain, you actually see fire retardant on some trees that were left over from the water bombers that were used. As you approach the lake, it turns into a green oasis and there's a very distinct line between trees that were scorched and trees that were spared because the fire actually jumped over the lake. So to see that visually, it's absolutely remarkable. As soon as we arrived at the lake, I wanted to get out there immediately. The lake looked absolutely prime. The weather was great. So we hopped in a boat and went out for an afternoon evening fish. Oh, hog. You went to go cast it, eh? Cronovid, big green one. What? That's a hog, dude. Ooh. Oh my god. It's a big fish coming right over you. His head shaking. Oh, cooperate, buddy. Ready? He's in. Boom. Oh, that's probably the base one yet. Yeehoo! <laughs> nice! Just switched up right now, went over to a chronomid here. Uh, and literally just kind of made my first cast with stripping line out. It's probably 10, 12 feet off the front of the boat. And as I was just going to cast, my indicator went down. It was just wham, hammered him. Beautiful fish. Who said you can't fish with bananas on the boat? <laughs> Although I never bring them, but tonight I did. He's, he's, 22. he's 22, almost 23 inches. What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish here. Lots of energy still in this guy. Thanks for cooperating, buddy. I'm gonna send you off. Well, we had a pretty successful first afternoon, evening bite on the lake. Braden and I were able to get into a couple fish, but I know we're both getting hungry, especially him. So it's time to head in and uh, start to get ready for dinner here. But this is where I truly believe a big part of the Sky High Lodge experience and charm takes place is coming in now and prepping our dinner, chopping wood and, and you're making the kindling and, and you're getting a fire going outside. It's this old world kind of rustic charm. And while you're doing all this work, you're just listening to the loons on the lake that are sounding off and the water's lapping up on the shore. You're, you're literally 15 feet from the lake while all this is taking place. And it's just, to me, a, a, a huge part of the experience. And, and why I love being outdoors so much is you just kind of get immersed into the simple things and, and really you're just kind of back to basics. You're, you got fire, you're, you're cooking your own food, you're eating by a campfire. You don't have your electronics, there's no distractions. You're just in the moment and you're enjoying uh, the experience, the adventure and the people that you're with.